We got our third show on sale what? right now at the Gramercy Theater, Let's baby. Let's go. The Army of Garbage came correct in New York City. Sold out two shows. We added our third. Links in the description. Let's party, baby. Yeah. Friday, February 3rd. We'll see you there. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grew up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antony's basement. She's upstairs getting ready to go skiing. Okay. Yeah, no snow in the forecast, but she's still hitting the slopes anyway. All right. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, real unamused this week. <laughs> Not even trying to hide it anymore. <laughs> He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He is not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Twitter up. Over 100,000, baby. Uh, and it. obviously, the greatest website of all time, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Sweet Check Lord. it the fuck out. Love that money. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good, works the ones and twos, crosses them T's and dots them I's. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? Hey, T-Bone. Oh, having a great holiday. I'm going to have some traditional holiday tub cheese this year. What's yeah. That? yeah. What's that? <laughs> the stuff that Sarah makes in her tub. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was some hillbilly shit you have. No, it's classy. <laughs> I was thinking like pimento cheese so did or something I. like that. I was like, I think my mom has that. That's how that's how fat I am. When you said tub cheese, I was like, that sounds pretty good. I just pictured like a big tub just slapping it on a Ritz cracker. Oh, but gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest uh -huh. back with us again today. Uh, one of our absolute favorites. We love her. You love her. She's she the has best. An amazing new podcast out right now called Laney Journey. Give it up for our good pal, Sarah Tolomash. Hey. Yeah. Tolomash. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. Hey, you have, I forgot about that. You do have. Every like podcast or every other interview we do, they go, what's one answer where you were fucking blown away? And it's all we, we always give that answer for you. Cheese. You Tub making cheese. the ricotta cheese. Yeah. At home. Out of in old a milk. In an old t-shirt. <laughs> in an old t-shirt. Y'all, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth as silk, I'll tell you that. I'm making cannolis. Uh, are you making cannoli? <laughs> no, no. Um, not out of yet. an old pair of shoes, yes. she's making them. <laughs> <laughs> Got some taco shells I'm going <laughs> to dust some powder sugar on. <laughs> That probably wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> I know. I pictured it in my head when she said, I was like, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, it's not bad. It can only taco. <laughs> um, since Toby brought that up, I did want to ask you, uh, we're in the holiday season here a little bit. Uh, is there a Tolomash family recipe, appetizer, or d'oeuvre, dip, anything like that? What's the spread looking like? Floating on a nice around holiday? out there. Well... We'd, we've been doing a cheese board prior to the meal, okay. but okay. it's been annihilating the main meal. Really? Yes. Really? And then in the past few years, we do, in Texas, we'll just do an outside barbecue. Love that. Okay. Uh, but this year, I'm hosting the dinner. Everyone's coming up, and I'm making, it's our, you, our old traditional meal, and it's roast beef with Yorkshire pudding. Ah, like wait, a, a traditional English. You're doing this in your apartment? Yes. It's a one bedroom, isn't it? Uh, yes, with a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are you expecting? I, 10 people. So I have to what? feed 10 people. <laughs> and I've never. Where's everybody going to sit? That's on the couch. Well, I've, Somebody's I'm sitting on the couch. some desks together, <laughs> mismatched chairs. We have an outside picnic table that I have to bring in and oh, dust off the cobwebs. Welcome to the show, ladies Holy and gentlemen. shit. <laughs> Eating Christmas dinner inside on lawn furniture. <laughs> oh That's what I'm talking about. Please bring the umbrella in as well. <laughs> Open that thing up. I think I'm just going to bring... going to be like a bee's nest on that or something. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to power wash that before that thing comes in. I was... Yeah, I'm just going to bring it in as is and let it fly. Rustic. Well, one time we went to do a barbecue at Bobby Kelly's 
I mean, uh-huh. house in Westchester and infamous barbecue. He had was so proud that he cut up these wood stumps, but he didn't seal them. And so we at during the hang, all of a sudden we were covered in spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders and sap. Dude, I would Have another me. hot dog and some raid, please. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's nothing like when someone's so proud of, they're like, don't you love these oh, yeah, rustic stinks. chairs yeah. that I made? And you're like, we're covered in spiders. A woodpecker's just drilling into the side of your head. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Have you cooked a meal this big before for anybody? No. No. I haven't. I do cook. I think the biggest piece of meat I've cooked is a pork shoulder. Okay. okay. That's a pretty, that's a that's a big hook. How big, big is this piece. pot roast going to be? It's got to feed 10 people, so I'm thinking it's going to be this this big. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a, over a $100 piece of meat. Is that the meat you ask where can you get a nice piece of meat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. You've done no research <laughs> on this meal. She just asked us before we started. Is there anywhere to get meat around here is what she asked. <laughs> You yes. guys know where Yorkshire is by any chance? <laughs> like, you find out my roast beef is just one big hamburger <laughs> patty. <laughs> that's, just, that's what you should do. Yeah. Make a meatloaf or something. You're rolling the dice with a roast beef. Yeah, I am worried because the time that I made the pork shoulder, I thought starting at 8 o'clock at night was the right time, and I think I finished it at, like, 2 in the morning. Wait. For dinner? Yeah. Wait, you started cooking dinner that night at well, 8 o'clock? Were you supposed to you eat that night or the next day? I was going to eat that night. Here's the thing. <laughs> that's, that's a late dinner to begin with. I, well, all my hours are late. What are you, Spanish? <laughs> 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 Your grandmother's keeling over in the corner. She's got to get her <laughs> insulin shot in. she got to wait till 3 a.m. No, I don't know if you guys get this do <laughs> i don't know all of a sudden you want to do a big project late at night like for some reason i only want to hammer stuff to my wall at midnight <laughs> I, gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah you're just like i'm gonna do this right now sure. Sure. yeah and i didn't know that these are meats that have to be slow cooked slow cooking meats yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i was always like that in school like in in like elementary school and high school i would have like my most like creative energetic periods when I was supposed to go to bed at like 9 or 10 o'clock. Yes. You're like a dog who gets yeah. the zoomies at night. <laughs> <laughs> Running around the living room, Jeez. jumping off the couch and stuff. And then I'd wake up the next morning and be miserable and wouldn't have any of that creativity or drive yeah. or anything. So I, I get what you're saying with that. But who who are you with the pork shoulder? Who were you making that for? Joe and I. Oh, you were just making dinner for yourself. Yeah. Well, it was during COVID and I just got in. I I like cooking. I don't think I'm great at it, but I like, like sure. it. I'd roll the dice and say you're yeah. not. Well, here's I do the recipes and then I realize I don't know what this ingredient is. And then I look up the substitution online. And then sometimes I don't even have that. And I'm like, I think this is similar to this. Just sure, then you start freestyling a little bit. <laughs> yeah. My Every, wife does the same everything thing. Everything has cinnamon in it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, a little paprika can save a lot. <laughs> oh man, a little paprika, a little. Yes. Chi- you know what really, really uh, cures all is that everything uh, blend for everything yes. bagel. Dude, you oh, put that. Sa- uh, yeah, <sighs> sesame and onion it covers all yeah. the bases, bro. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Go. Everything but the bagel. Yeah. yeah. So you cook the 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 shoulder. It's not done until two o'clock. But it's just you and him. That's bad. You yeah. can't do that uh, with Christmas. No. So I'm gonna start. Or like at 10 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Look up how long you have to slow cook I it. think it's three hours. But here's the thing, too. Sometimes I don't read the directions until day of. Oh, you're doomed. <laughs> you are doomed. <laughs> I was supposed to start three hours ago. <laughs> and then they'll be like, have the meat resting for two <laughs> days. On the, and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you want to have the meat rest for at least a half an hour. Yes. Covered. That's so I got to take it out. I'm going to put it in the fridge. I got to buy it first. I got to buy it first. Just get some roast beef slices or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) I've got half a pound slice there. Make make yourself some sandwiches. (laughs) Half a pound slice for 10 people. Real thin. (laughs) (laughs) So thin you can barely see it. (laughs) Okay, let's start here. Maybe we can help you out a little bit. Do um, Do you have a knife that can cut a roast beef? A sharp, I'm big knife. I'm just realizing I don't. Okay. Yeah, you got to have that. 
Is it one of those ones that you get batteries for? <laughs> which, uh, which, hold on. Some, <laughs> I, my family uses that to carve our turkey. Oh, it's not batteries. You plug it in. Yeah. yeah the electric knife. Is that trashy? Knife? I Somebody don't know. said that's real. Tr- I thought it was the epitome of class. It that feels was like, trashy like, to me. Now, once somebody said, somebody said it this year and it blew my mind. Yeah. And I go, I think that's pretty fuck. It makes a weird smell, Dude, too. Dude, yeah, it does. The motor gets cooking. <laughs> that electric motor. It's diesel. That burns, <laughs> that burns something different, man. It sounds like a train going by. <laughs> it does smell I'll tell like, you like what, though. Train. When that thing got fired up when I was a kid, we would stand around like it was goddamn fireworks. Dude, yeah. Well, well, my stepdad breaks that out to carve the turkey. He, oh, yeah. It's like he's breaking out of a fucking samurai. So, Everybody <laughs> watch out. I got the sword guy. Hey, I it's, love that thing. It's front page news in my you house. You should get one of those. Yeah. All um, right. I'm we gonna... have a set of knives for you, actually. Of if you course. want, you can take it. I'll yeah, take a from set a of knives. Yeah. yeah. A set of knives. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So you want to have the knife to cut it. Yeah. You have the pan to cook it in. You think. You've... I got it at TJ Maxx last <sighs> night. Man, that, I love TJ Maxx. The finish is going to come off cooking. that pan. That's happened to me I before. I did worry about that. It's... I looked at the pan and I'm like, there's paint on this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where it's red, you're like, why is this pan red? Mm-hmm. Let it, me ask you this. But it has that thing that you prop the meat on, so the drippings. Ah. Uh, so it doesn't sit in its drippings. Sure. <laughs> sure. Like a yeah. dirty. Like a dirty whore. The little. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> sit back. Roast beef slipping off its. Look seat. at you. You <laughs> disgust me. <laughs> Taking a bath <laughs> in your own <laughs> filth. Juice. <laughs> Now get in there and clean yourself up. <laughs> we got company coming over to eat at patio furniture. Do you have a meat thermometer? I think I do. It came with my slow cooker. So oh. I got to get batteries for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are things you don't know until you start cooking. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, it's going to take you about six and a half hours to cook this. Is it really? Did you look it up? I did. I think it's per pound. Oh, too, my probably. God. I I'm glad... Uh, you told me that because I was going to start at 10. What would... Okay. I got to start earlier. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's a... Good how, thing he came and did the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we just fucking saved Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Tolomashes. Hold on a second. It's 10 people. How big of a pot roast does she need, T-Bone? For 10 people? Yeah. Uh, I, nine pounds. I don't know, man. That's what I was thinking. A pound of meat per person. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot, I think. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of <laughs> No You're going to have to cook this thing in the tub. <laughs> I have no idea. This is how I was talking about this. <laughs> I buy shit online like Amazon being like, Oh, yeah, that's 23 centimeters. And then I realize I don't know what 23 <laughs> centimeters looks like. You might be my favorite person in the world. I love you. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> the sheer confidence. Yeah, I'm doing a traditional uh, British Christmas. No idea. Do you have enough going. plates and all that stuff? Yes. I bought here. You guys are going to like this. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do dishes, so I got paper plates. That's okay. That's no, a- it's not. No, come but on. But I got real silverware. <laughs> yeah, okay, I would hope so. That's probably going to rip through the plate. Yeah, sure. that's, <laughs> the <only problem. laughs> that's the only problem. You're cutting the roast beef. five plates. <laughs> it's, it's all Double right. It's on plating. outdoor furniture. You'll yeah. be fine. I would recommend for sure having a good... And do you have one of those the, those fork things? The, the, they look like, like the, pitchforks. The, the prongs to yeah. like yes, l- to pull stick. the meat away. <laughs> no, to stick to stick it in. It looks like it's like a big fork. <sighs> Guys, no. You got to get one of those. All right. Well, I got to do all this because you got to go podcast. like that, and then you got to cut the meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight. You're looking for eight to ten pounds of roast beef. Yeah. What are we talking about? A thousand bucks. I'm probably gonna come to the market with twenty dollars in my hand. <laughs> Oh. oh God! Just give me some neck. You got any neck in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll cook up some neck. These idiots all know the difference. I do picture me calling for Chinese food at the last sure, minute. Sure, pulling out seamless or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a bad idea. On the phone. Man. Everybody get what you want. Something. I, I looked into catering, but nobody offered a traditional English. Well, how, what's dinner. what's Yorkshire pudding? Yorkshire pudding is kind of like. Uh, like a flour pancakey mixture cooked in like the roast beef fat. Okay. So you do it in muffin tin. So you ladle a little bit of the fat. I think you can also do chicken fat. So it's like this crispy, flavorless 
mu- mushy muffin, but okay. it's so good with the gravy and then the other gotcha. bits. It's okay, like, you know you have a handle on that. You know how to do that. <laughs> Apparently, I got to do it at the last fifteen minutes. This is a timing issue that I. I know it's a level of difficulty Mm -hmm. that I'm not prepared for. They burn real easy. Yeah. I might have to do get a whole vat of pancake mix. (laughs) Just keep going. And keep going. (laughs) So you got you get one good one out of each batch. Uh, You're gonna have sliced roast beef and pancakes for Christmas. I I am panicking. Nah, you'll be all right. We'll Just get, get your stuff together. I'm, I'm doing it today. I got four days. There you go. Do you know a professional chef of any kind? Yeah, no, they not really. They can give really. you like a quick rundown, maybe. I, I YouTube, get on the YouTube. I will do the YouTube. I usually kind of follow Allison Roman, but lately I've been. I feel like she cuts corners. I don't know who that is. She you got cut corners. What are you I talking do about? I cut corners. She's the queen of cutting corners. <laughs> She's always like, I don't take the stems off because I can't be bothered. And I'm like, okay, well you got to take the stems off. Raw a meat cilantro. and pancake mix. <laughs> <laughs> Cook it yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's why. I don't take the wrapper off. I just throw it in there <laughs> and let my guests unwrap it. <laughs> oh man, that's wild. Uh, um, and you guys are doing? Are you guys doing presents? Uh, you and, you well, and your husband? No, because Joe and I are doing presents. Sure. But in the family, we do a drawing, so we're not buying thousands of gifts. What sure. do you guys yeah. call it? Secret Santa? Pollyanna? Yeah, Secret Santa. Secret, Secret Santa. Santa. Yeah. Can you guys change gifts if you want and do that kind of thing? Um, no, we haven't done that. Joe has recommended that, but I don't feel like we come from a family that does that. Start fights. It does. Oh, I, we did it once between my aunts and uncles, and it was like the goddamn Thunderdome. I yeah. Mean, people were fighting, There's... taking, hiding presents and shit. It was bad. <laughs> well, somebody always comes in with, is this, you bought this at the gas station on, on the, the way, way here. Yeah, yeah. Like... and someone also always buys like an iPod or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you get fucked. You get fucked. Hey, everyone. The guy who buys the most expensive <laughs> gift always gets the worst uh, yeah, gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop at the gas station. Hey, everybody yeah. needs gum. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you getting, Joe, for Christmas? Okay, well, he's really hard to buy because he makes money, and he always just buys what he wants for himself. Sure. Okay. And I feel like every gift I've gotten him, he never uses. What, what, have, what has been on that list? Cornhole, travel cornhole, and it's just been unopened in the living room. Sure. Where would he? Use I was like, that? let's play it outside on the side behind our yeah. um, apartment because we got enough space. And he's like, I don't want to disturb the neighbors because New Yorkers are difficult people. It's very true. If you hear thumping on a repetitive For level, an hour, hour, yeah. people get livid. Huh. And it's also like that could be affecting. A thousand people. You know what I mean? Or like however many people are around that yeah. echoes. It's like, but you guys hang in your backyard a lot, right? Yeah, when it's warm outside. Yeah, I don't think that's. Come on. I'm you that way. I'm like, like, well, you, you moved to here? New York. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get. Yeah. I, I but I understand what he's saying. It's just like this for. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's not quiet. Do you play music out there when you're back there? Not really. Whisper. <laughs> but Joe will like cigar smoke back there. There you go. Yeah. Huh. All right, so that's one. That's what. So that's one gift. He, um, if I get him books, he. But even that, they just look decorative. Yeah. So I'm just annoyed. Um. So this year, he sent me a link to what he wanted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it's a, uh, this graphic designer created uh, images of each Seinfeld girlfriend. From the oh. whole series as on a whole poster. That's really cool. Okay. And so I bought that and then I bought a frame on Amazon and framed it. And that's what I'm getting. And then I'll probably find some little treats that he likes. Although now he's on a diet kick. Okay. So I can't get him any of his treats. Huh. Okay. That's good. That's a that's a good <sighs> gift. It's so difficult. I find your significant other is the hardest to buy presents for. I've struck out every single year for the past eight years. Yeah. Not one good gift. No. And like. I struck out with him two years in a row. (laughs) What did you. Sometimes you're like, you got me a burden. It's funny you say that. I have to go run errands now. Thank you. He bought me a. He got me a. <laughs> this is already out. He got me a gift certificate, a $1,000 gift certificate for the Carnival Cruise Line. I got him a cruise. A cruise. You know, I got to go on a cruise. How is that a burden? That's not. It's not bad. And I bought him that bass guitar back there. But you have to fly touched. to Florida now? 
That's the burden. I got to fly to Florida. <laughs> he could take you to New York. I got fl- the money. I got to fly to Florida to get on a boat to go four hours to get off at Tijuana or whatever for <laughs> for thirty five minutes. Get yelled at that I don't miss the boat. Get back on and do that three times. You could take it here and take the cruise up to Boston. Yeah, yeah or that's my <laughs> other option is to get on in New York and go to go Boston. Go to Boston. <laughs> get a cup of chow and come. Providence on. is beautiful this time of year. <laughs> We're just there. <laughs> no, my I like it. I when people get you artwork and it's not framed. Oh, that's yeah. It's like okay, now yeah. It's a yeah. I think most job. gifts, yeah. most if if you added up all the gifts that are exchanged over the holiday season at any given year, I would say most of them are unused. Sure. Yeah. It, I always think, is this person going to like this or is this going to end in Trash Island in the middle of the ocean? In the middle sure. of the Pacific. Oh yeah. yeah. I also I'm I'm like Joe. I'm like I don't want. If I want something, I'll just buy. Like I just buy. It. Like yeah. gifts are always lost on me. Yes, because and he's like that too. He's like, I get you gifts all year round. Yeah, we just buy stuff. Yeah, of course. And then, so why do I need to? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I get, no, oh, I man, agree. Take that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what I buy you whatever you want, you dumb bitch. I, just, I gotta buy you something on the twenty fifth. I gotta eat cold and pot roast. <laughs> Get it together, woman. <laughs> you embarrass me in front of this family. <laughs> Undercooked pot roast. What's the best cook, the best gift any of you guys have ever gotten? I got asked that question and I still can't even. I don't know. I ever, genuinely ever, don't know. Ever in my life? Joe got me a computer that saved my life. That's good. There you go. Laptop. Yeah. That's really yes. good. No, Apple. Desktop. <laughs> yeah, an Apple. It was a gateway. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Dell. <laughs> it was a year ago. ago. <laughs> <sighs> you write your letters on there. Dude, yeah. I, I, I was so poor, not that long, it was a couple of years ago, that I needed a computer, and I only had, like, I got a $200 gift card to, like, Best Buy or something. I bought a desktop. I remember and that. Dude, it worked at the speed <laughs> of fucking molasses. It was so slow. I think I turned it on twice. Um. Oh, because, well, if it's a PC, it takes forever to boot up because it's got all the antivirus software. Is that what it is? I don't yeah, even think I, I ever bought the software. I yeah. was just raw dog in the internet for a while. <laughs> so hold on. Uh, com- that's, a, that's, that's something that's that you gift. would use. Yeah, because it improves your life. Yes. yes. You would use that every day. Yes. And I, mm. Yes. Um, my, the best gift I ever got was one year out of nowhere, one of my uncles just broke us off a of jihad. That's crazy. <laughs> and I was about I was about twenty two and I Oh, was, that's the great I time. was hemmed up. Yeah. I was in a real bad spot. That Wait, literally what's a G- what do a you grand. mean by G- a grand. Oh. Just after you, you know you do the presents yes. and then maybe your parents have a little hidden one. Yeah. Oh, and then she my mom came up and she I thought I was done because it was real light that year on Christmas Eve for my aunts and uncles. And she just came over and just fucking hit. She's like, and this is from your Uncle Joe. And boom, fucking woo. Yeah. That was a lifesaver. Game changer. Game yeah. changer. Yeah. yeah. I was in, I was in, I would have been physically. <laughs> <laughs> I, owed some, I owed some wrong people some money. You got a bonus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I got the, one year I got the G.I. Joe headquarters. And that was probably my greatest present yeah. of all time. I played with that fucking thing for like three years straight. Shout out to it. I got a mini bike. Like the one in Dumb, like the exact one in Dumb and Dumber, like the little red one that they ride. Yeah. That's pretty good. I was eight. My mom did not want me to have it. My parents were divorced. My dad bought it for me to mm. like really ram it, you know, to get, yes, give right. it to her. I crashed it the first day and like fucked my arm up, <laughs> fucked my leg up. My mom was so mad. <laughs> Oh my Couldn't God. tell me shit though. I was cruising, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, was, I, I might as well have been in the fucking Hell's Angels. One arm and everything, just oh, zipping down the street. Couldn't Here comes Kepi. Look I was, out! I was taking my helmet to school to show off. <laughs> Walking with it under my eye. <laughs> like evil, the motorcycle evil. parking is around here. <laughs> Man, did you know anybody that rode a motorcycle to high school? No, that's crazy. No. I think there was a couple. That guy of my... beats his dad up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You drive a motorcycle to school. You hate your dad. Fuck you say, pussy. Yeah, we had a couple of those dudes. Parked it right at the door, too. I feel like those guys are like 22-year-old seniors. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. sure. They hit puberty early, yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. Held back early, like kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, they, they've kindergarten. always been home. Yeah. <laughs> Did first grade three times. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, Man, that's good. I love those guys. Yeah, those guys were all right. What, did you did you drive to school? Did you walk to school? Was it a bus? What were you doing? I uh, my brother had a car, so he would drive me to school. That's big. Yeah, and that was that was nice. How much older is he than you? Four years. So when I was a freshman, he drove, and then by the time I got my license, 
uh, my dad, I got a car. Nice. Yeah. Right. So you little, drove yourself. To sell. So you never had to do the high to school sell. bus as no, a freshman. No, no. And I didn't live that far that if I couldn't drive to school, I would ride my bike. Really? Yeah. Bike wow. I like the bike riding. Man, I still do it. It's like something out of a movie. Yeah. Riding your bike to school. Yeah, it's skidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, pussies? <laughs> Eight fifty nine. No, I wish I could Perfect skid timing. in. Never skidded in. Really? Couldn't skid either. No, I was a big skidder. Never I'd skid. Whip work. Ugh, mm -mm. it's hot. That's hot. Could Dang. you ride? Could you ride it with no hands? I could do no hands. Really? That's yeah. pretty good. Did yes. you? No. That's why I ask everybody that question. Oh, you couldn't ride a bike with no hands? What are you talking about? My center of gravity was all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Jiggle. I had to lean my head on the fucking <laughs> on the steering wheel. No, I never had a ten speed like that either. I had BMX. Oh, no, you didn't need a ten. You could do it on a BMX bike. Wow. Yeah. I thought you had to be a ten speed. I thought it had to be a ten speed. You had to be Italian and in really good shape <laughs> to do that. Wearing a wife beater. Yeah, a hundred percent. Wearing a wife beater or no shirt, and you'd ride down the street like that. <laughs> That's how yeah. you would do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedal it. It took a while to so you could pedal with no hands. Yeah. But like you could cruise down a hill or whatever. You could just, that's how you start. It's like yes. training wheels, you know. Oh, we'll man. get a bike. We'll teach you. All right. I'll be on Patreon.com, folks. There you go. Um, Speaking of Patreon, let's do a couple of cues. Sure, we got a couple here. of couple of cues from well, the we got old Patreon guys. As you know, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. Um, there was a couple. Uh, there's a couple ones. Seeking advice from a lady, so it, it or about a relationship. So it'd be nice to get your your perspective here. Okay. Um, this one's from Sa uh, Soggy Bottom. Me and my girl broke up last week on good terms. Is it garbage to return the expensive gift I got her and give her something much cheaper for Christmas? Why are you giving her a present anyway? <sighs> That's weird. That's suspect to me. I guess if it's good terms, it's still like a. My thing is, do it. Why do you have to tell people? What do you do know you mean? what I mean? Like he could just return it. And get a cheaper it, gift, and she would not. She would yeah, no be none the wiser. Yeah, well, I, if they were together for a couple of years. Yeah, I think he's like, just asking us. I don't think he's going to go tell. Well, it's going to get you this. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a tennis bracelet. You, so you slept with Steve. <laughs> Here's a portable cornhole game. I still want to be. I still want to be friends though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would. Don't give her anything <laughs> expensive. I, I would go. I would give that same advice to a girl too. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Don't. That's fucking stupid. But and, but also too. I mean, as a guy. You break up to go ahead and give her a gift. Mm. That's She's simp. fucking somebody. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's real simp. Isn't that? Is, am I using that correctly? You are indeed. Yeah, that's yeah. real nice. simp shit. But I also can't relate because I've like never that. had a relationship that ended on good terms. I try not to end relationships near the holidays because it gets complicated. And I remember always being annoyed about that. Like, fuck. Christmas is coming. Sure. I can't break can't up with now. him. Well, it's I know his like... birthday is around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make a move quick. Tell why you're still with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Between his birthday, flag day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I'm screwed here. Fourth of July, what are we doing? Yeah. There's no way out. <laughs> <laughs> this cold-hearted bitch dumped me on Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> two weeks two weeks before Mother's Day. <laughs> you know I love my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had relationships that ended on good terms? Mm, I feel like they always initially end on good terms, and then as time goes by, you you find details, sure, and then you're like, ugh, that, fuck that, that person. Guy fucking sucked. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I never had, a, never had. Why? Well, I mean, why would a relationship end on good terms? I, I, and in my dysfunctional brain, yeah, that's, I can't that's wrap my head around point. that. Yeah, because I agree if with it was you. on good terms, why are you breaking up? Yes. Yeah. I think if you're too mature self-reflective people or whatever and you're just like yeah it's just not what it was or what it is or whatever like it's best if we go both ways it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt or whatever but like i can understand it hmm. i don't know what you're talking about mature and all that stuff it's true yeah i've had the door slammed in my face <laughs> all my stuff in trash bags that's how i like to break up yeah walking out the door Definitive. crying yeah. don't be sorry they were not sorry. Yeah. They were not. <laughs> no, they You'll were not. You'll be sorry. Your credit's going to go up. <laughs> I won't be breaking furniture in your apartment. Have fun with a real man. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a job and a car and a 401k. If you need me, I'll be at my mother's. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pick up a shift at Bear Burger. Bear Burger. Fuck. 
Shout out to Bear Burger. Keeping us alive, baby. Who's gone downhill? Who has? I think Bear Burger has. Bear Burger? <laughs> she came in with, that's going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast aside, that's going downhill. Let's I, just talk I, about that. I haven't had it in a while, but when I worked there, the place was fucking Loved delish. It, but yeah. no, not anymore. Okay. I haven't been in a long, I don't know, I haven't been in a long time. I feel like Shake Shack, just visually, has gone down because it's everywhere now. When yeah, I see that, yeah. I go like, it can't be good anymore. I liked sure. it as my special thing. Go get Shake Shack. Yeah. yeah. The one that in, was my celebratory meal. The one in Madison Square Park. Yeah. I love that. Man. That was a good one. Although Something you have to else. keep your legs up because there's the rats. rats. They're ba- oh, I almost kicked one the other <laughs> night. Keep your legs up. That's the only restaurant where you're like, they just can it's have rats there. I mean, <laughs> I and not get closed by. down. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the middle of a park. And people doing Tai Chi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's always some sort of silent protest going yeah, on. Yeah, there's too. something That's going something on. I don't in understand. There. The squirrels are real shifty in that park, too. I don't know what it is over there. Yeah, they're aggressive. Yeah. yeah. That park. Cause that's that's in the middle of the shit. That's like one square block. So if you're in there, you got to be, you know. I used to work around. I used to walk dogs around there, and so I would observe the economy. Sure, it's a, it's, it's a, just us and nannies. Oh yeah, just Jamaican nannies and mm-hmm. white dog walkers. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> grabbing a crinkle cut fries, <laughs> living the life. <laughs> Shout out to them. Uh, this is inside baseball. But what is your? Because uh, we live in the same neighborhood. What is your Chinese spot over there in the story that you would go to? I just do the first one on Grubhub. So it's East Garden. I don't ever go to a Chinese restaurant unless it's Han Dynasty because I like Szechuan. Man, that place is fucking it's the bomb. banging. Yes. If you're in New York City, was it Second Avenue or Third Avenue? I think it's Second. Where's that at? It's down like By thir- 10th street yeah yeah they do salt and pepper shrimp that will uh, blow your brains out best fried chicken yeah one phenomenal of yeah hmm. phenomenal i you, love that though like yeah. i um growing up there was a couple like actual like not fine dining but like really nice chinese restaurants where you go and and, and you know like a restaurant yeah you go and sit and eat. I feel like in New York, you don't go to where you order online. No. Do you know what I mean? Like you no, get there and it's never. just like a, a murder scene. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So you 100%. Just a takeout joint. Yeah. It's like yeah. a bullet hole in the window. Yeah. And like, you know. <laughs> Christina Hutchinson used to has a, has a joke about that. Like you ever be ordering from from a place from Seamless for like a year, then you walk by and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But there's there's obviously there's good sit in Chinese spots yes. down in down in Chinatown. But in the Burbs, Absolutely. I used to love that. Yeah, a strip mall or something. Ooh, yeah. good stuff. They put the the good crispy noodles on the table with yes. the duck sauce and the mustard. I also like the wall m- murals. Don't you? I feel like oh like, sure, a lot of Asian the tran- restaurants the have the tranquil yeah. uh, countryside scenes, like a river. Uh, yeah, big like round geisha. tables. Man, they're all right. <laughs> Some cherry blossoms. <laughs> Man, there was a place in my hometown called Lele, but closed down after the pandemic. It was fucking nice. That place yeah. was bumping in the 90s. Yes. On a Friday and Saturday night, let's go. Hmm. Good shit. Put on your good outfit. We're going to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to Lili. Going to <laughs> Next to Johnny's number one auto sale. <laughs> That's probably the way my mom called it. We're going to that Lili's. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, this one is from Jason. Have you ever been a fan, a fan of the band Buck Cherry? That's tough. That's Don't the know. crazy bitch. Yo, crazy bitch. You've heard you... Joe's story about that, right? I no. think did he do it on the podcast? No. He, I don't think I've I, ever I, talked about. I Buck don't like Cherry telling before. another story, but if you ever see him, he had a one night stand with the lady that fucked him to Buck Cherry, and she kept singing, <laughs> <laughs> and she kept calling him a nerd. <laughs> Like You're a nerdy drunk bitch. drive to the shitty apartment to go fuck. Her. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, Buck Cherry, that's your crazy. Who's bitch. Buck Cherry? Well, you're yeah. crazy bitch, and you fuck yeah. so good and on no. top of it. It's like the trashiest song of Don't all. Don't know it. Yeah. Really? Never heard it. It's, it's like a song that you fall off a mechanical bull to. Yeah. Yes, yes, if you it's ever all right. Yeah. Waited tables. The trashiest girl would pull into the parking lot, blaring that. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 She was late for her shift because <laughs> she was waiting on daycare. <laughs> Pulls into the oh, she was such a bitch, too. <laughs> Especially when you were new, trying to figure out the side work. Yeah. Uh, she had no time for you. No. But some reason you were in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know exactly. She's a crazy you know that bitch. Person. She fucks so Named good. like Tara or something like that. Oh, my God. What yeah. is it with yeah. Tara's? Tara. They're terrors. Yeah. yeah. Tara works the brunt shift. 
Ooh. You don't fuck And with only Tara. the brunt shift. Yeah, and only yeah, the yeah. brunt shift. Um, all right, this one's from David. You ever fuck with Mexican jumping beans? <laughs> Which I don't remember those. As a kid, yes. Well, well, were they I, real beans? I don't know. No, they're like, they've got like a little worm in them that pops Yeah, there's something. a worm in there. Yeah. Is it a toy or it's, is it an actual kind of thing? Yeah, you don't eat them. I feel like it was Whoops. along the line of like the pet <laughs> rock era or the okay. sea monkey thing. The I sea think monkey that was the water thing? Yeah, yeah. Although I never... I don't think that I was a little those. bit before my time. Those uh, they kind of came back a little bit when I was a kid, or maybe yeah. like when when I was in like maybe high school. The younger my my friend's younger brothers were getting them when they like kind of like monkeys? revamped them in the nineties. Yeah, well, aren't they like fleas or something? Dude, they got out of hand real quick. <laughs> well, they fucking they it was wild. I, yeah, I don't even know what sea monkeys are. Dude, they would grow and they'd have the little oh, magnifying. Oh, they're shrimp. Yeah, they're, they're like a brine marketing shrimp. term for brine shrimp. Yeah, so those novelty shrimpies. aquarium pets. Oh, I got my dad one of those that lasted like years. Did you get your dad sea monkeys? I bought him a little self-contained ecosystem, and then he it lasted way longer than it should have lasted, and then um it died, and then yeah, and then I got him another one, and then the. The office blinds fell on top of it and killed it. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. They were sea monkeys? Just no, like brine, brine shrimp. They're oh. like those little tiny shrimp like These that. Guys, yeah. Okay. But it's in their self contained ecosystem. So it's in a glass with water and like a little bit of green algae and it all like all like the algae eats this, this that eats that. Creates they the all... oxygen for the brine shrimp. Yeah. 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 You know what's kinda cool? I've never seen them with uh with anything living in it, like any animals in it. But I remember for a while some parents would have like the the sustaining ecosystem where it was like there was dirt, there was like some plants in there, and it was sealed. Mm. So it's the same thing you were talking about, and it would yeah, create, like a geranium. Kind yeah, of but there was nothing in there. I thought that was cool as shit. Oh yeah, no, I'm a big know. fan. No one I knew had put that. a GI Joe in there. See if he uh, survives. I feel like uh, when you go and used to buy pot at an apartment, sure they would. <laughs> yes, exactly. Some sort of aquarium. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They would have, yeah, everything was shit, but sweet entertainment system. Yeah. Good TV. Good TV. And then, yeah, like a Some sort pet of snake pet, or something. Yeah. And pet snake. You'd have to go see it. And you're like, I just want to buy About a to weed. Feed them. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, is your grandmother in the. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's my. Nah, she's she cool. Has... She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> she's just watching Wheel of Fortune in her room. Oh, man. Oh. Is that your oxygen tank? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too I, funny. Buying pot was always the best experience because you're like, oh, what is this? Yeah, sure. I just want to buy it. I don't want to look at your action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you buying pot of? <laughs> Every guy's trying to show you a weird collection. You buying it off a of nine-year-old? Yeah. No, it was always like, you're like... <laughs> Why can't I just buy pot like a regular transaction? Sure. sure. Yeah. You got to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Cause, so if you're going back in the day, like you kids out there, you wouldn't understand this, but it used to be illegal, believe it or not. Yeah. And back in the day, you couldn't just roll up to the person's house, run in and grab it because the local Smokies would be all over you. Then they see the traffic coming in. So you had to hang for a little while. I was hanging with my friend. Yeah, you don't just come in and leave. Yeah, it looks like an ATM. And then they would would, would roll one up or fucking you want a bong hit or whatever. Then you talk to them like your best friends for a half an hour, and then you fucking leave and see them in a month. (laughs) Yeah, the grandmother thing is really funny, though, because that is so true. She was always just coughing. And then my friend. That sticky's pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, that weed is loud, son. (laughs) I had a friend that on his first day at work here in New York when we first moved here, he befriended the company loser. And the guy was like, oh, asked him if he wanted to go on a lunch break. And then they drove all the way to the Bronx. And then he also smoked pot near his, the guy's grandmother. That now I've just been like, I think that's every, that's every pot dealing. Sure. (laughs) moment sure yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was always the there, there was an adult an older adult in the house that you didn't have to say hi to yes because normally when you walk they in, were in hi, how are you yeah. good to see you yeah yeah you didn't sigh and if you were That's polite chat or whatever yeah. yeah they looked at you weird like if they ever came out like in their in their uh house coat or whatever it was <laughs> uh, you know what i mean like hey, hey mrs grandmasino how are you good to see you where's rusty yeah you know? you're like i don't know Fucking wild. He went in the back somewhere. We were smoking. Everybody was smoking weed at this house. I don't know who this. It was a girl that we worked with that went to another school. We worked at the supermarket together. 
We're a couple of fucking <laughs> couple of fucking winners. We were. I we were smoking. Everybody was smoking weed at her place. I didn't smoke Man, weed. Man, separate school, and you were at a grocery store. <laughs> no way, she's still alive. <laughs> Holy nah, shit! Man. And it was like, it was her parents were like hippies, and like there was another like two or three adults that were like kind of there. I think there was a guy living at, on the property. It was real fucking weird. And I remember there everybody sitting there smoking fucking uh, like three foot bongs, and I had beer in the car, and I yeah. didn't smoke weed, so I'm like, oh, I'll just go grab. And we're hanging out. Yeah. And they were like, you can't, you're not 21. You can't, you can't have that beer. I'm like, dude, this okay. guy's got a fucking zong going right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lay off the bubbler, will I know. you? They're like in a <laughs> heroin den, yeah. basically. Yeah. I'm like, you're judging out of me. their mind, and yeah. you're like, mm, yeah, no yeah, Bud yeah, Lights yeah, in here. Yeah. <laughs> they wear Bud Lights. <laughs> dude, gravity bongs out of a toilet. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? Can't no. have a glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> like a fucking gentleman. My one boy in high school, man, one of my really good friends, for some reason, his parents, had a tenant that lived in the attic. Yikes. It was like a little apartment, but you had to go through the house yeah. to get there. So like every once in a while, we'd just be like there chilling on the couch or like eating dinner at this house, and fucking Randy would just come rolling <laughs> through <laughs> and fucking just done not say anything. Yeah. yeah. Like we weren't really- You don't always su- say hi to your neighbors, man. Well, yeah, we weren't really- <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you're late for work or something. I think one of my buddies said hello to him one time, and- the uh, my buddy, my other buddy's dad was like, just yeah, let let him do his thing. You don't have to say hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he fucking walked. He's two feet away from me. <laughs> don't talk to him unless you need knives sharpened. <laughs> yeah. I had a buddy live in his attic when we were in school in high junior high and high school. That'd be sweet. It was cool, but then like even when I was up there, I'm like, this yeah. isn't cool. We I had- was like 15. I'm like, could you see the insulation? No, it was real small. They act like. They, it was it's like their a, own apartment. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Call, like, yeah, they're yeah. adults. I'm, I'm down at my mom's and shit. Even <laughs> so. Dad wasn't around, I'll tell you that much. I got to run to my mom's and get a snack. Uh, <laughs> got to run to the store real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes to the kitchen. <laughs> There's a bodega downstairs. <laughs> ah, shit, I got to go to the laundry mat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember being like, and he would cover it with this. Uh, like They're a, like, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and he, like, he would I smoke guess. it. Yeah, we can split a cig. That was another thing. We could split cigs. Like, yeah. You couldn't have two going at a time. Sure. But you yeah. Could, we could each fucking, you know. And you have to, like, hold your head out the window. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's never comfortable, and they try to make it seem, seem like, like it's, it's the so best so chill. Thing. I'm yeah. like, let's just go outside and smoke. We're allowed to. You know what I mean? Like, Not to mention probably 300 degrees up there in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, he's playing some, like, he's playing some bone thugs in harmony or something. <laughs> like, the B-side. I'm like, dude, this sucks, man. I know. You're like, we might as well just be smoking crap. <laughs> this is so depressing. Sure. There's like a Bob Marley towel as a curtain sure. on the yeah, window. There was, yeah. there was a bead type thing. <laughs> yeah, the setup back in the day, it was it you it made you feel that's why every time I smoke weed or 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 anything out in public, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. It feels dirty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like I had a boyfriend that would smoke weed all the time and he would be perpetually cleaning out his bowls oh, with paper yeah. clips and I was like I just feel like I'm living with a heroin user. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, so yeah. sad. Uh, that resin, though, resin. man. When you were, <laughs> Dude, when you were out of shake. weed, that shit would fuck you up. Uh, Woo! And they're so proud of it. Oh, get a uh, fucking yeah. big they work ball. hard, like yeah, in the coal mine. fingers are all black. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yo, pet, they're trying to shake your hand. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm not a, I'm not a fucking crackhead. <laughs> Go buy a dime bag, Stick you loser. Stick in the magazines. <laughs> no, nah, man, sometimes you were hemmed up. <laughs> get some dignity. <laughs> sometimes you were hemmed up, and you got to get fucking yeah. toasted. That uh, shit would fucking level you, too. I would hate sometimes. make you sleepy. And when I so when I was living here, I'd have to go back and I would go to Philly for like a show or whatever. I'd stay at a buddy on a buddy's couch, and I mean the table. I would sleep on the couch, and you'd wake up, you like be like eating breakfast or something. You like go to the bodega, get a break, bacon, egg, and cheese, and, like open it up. I'd be eating on this coffee table that had like an ounce and a half of shake and dog hair, and I'd fucking res balls. I hated it. It was the yeah. fucking worst. The tools, the homemade tools that you found <laughs> to do your res balls. It would be like a one of those screwdrivers for eyeglasses. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that thing's ke- a frisbee <laughs> to keep your seeds in line. Yeah. <laughs> your seeds in line. <laughs> like they're not all those over are the males. place. I'm going to germinate those. You're like, Shut up, you loser. I had a roommate who did a gravity bong hit of resin and was just laid out on the kitchen coughing, going, it's not worth it. 
<laughs> Hit him with the Narcan. Let's go. I don't know, man. That's what you're looking for. Saturday afternoon, the Notre Dame game's over. What are we doing? That's a fucking knockout punch. Oh, dude. No, uh, when you're hanging out with pot smokers, they never sell it. When you watch them, you're like, you're not selling this shit to me really well. Like, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're depressing Now I me. think it's a little bit different, but back then, Well, you for got sure. a vape. Vapes look cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's Pop classy. a gummy. Relax. Yeah. You're, you're going out. You're doing your day. That's nice. It comes in nice packaging. Sure. Yeah. Strawberry flavor. Yeah. Yeah. We're promoting drug use. <laughs> <laughs> Show is already garbage. <laughs> It's, it's legal. That's legal. It's, that med- is it's true. medicinal. It's medicinal. You're afraid to fly. Get a high. <laughs> yeah, you're a high school kid. You got cataracts. Do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Straighten yourself out. Oh, I don't know. That gravity bonger resin seems all right, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Man, that's how you're going to go out, dude. That's what's going to finally get you. A fucking grav bong of resin. A titleist ball of no resin. One's, <laughs> no one's gonna call the no one's gonna call the EMT either because there's the, yeah, the house is loaded with drugs. Old three liter of Mountain Dew. Fucking slice that in half, man. Yeah. I remember we there were kept a bucket for gravity bongs back in the woods, and like getting fresh water to like you know it was tough, and we went it was like sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Training to be a ninja. It's so worth it. Your dad's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just filling up our gravity <laughs> bomb. A broomstick full of buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Headed into the woods with my stoner buddies. <laughs> I swear to God, it's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dad who's oblivious. All right, have fun, kids. <laughs> Ah, they're good kids going out there. <laughs> watering the plants. Going out there and watering the trees in the middle of the woods, huh? Meanwhile, you got a grow operation going. Yeah, it's like you're going to work at the factory. It's like, bye. Yeah. Uh, but um, we went in the bucket, had tadpoles in it. And so, <laughs> <laughs> it had a self sustaining economy in there. And they had tadpoles in it, and this one kid. You but, still took it? I, I mean, I did Ugh. it. Yeah. This one kid did. It's a rite of passage. You got you to do sp- tadpole you water, dude. Your if you slurp, <laughs> if you slurp <laughs> up a tadpole, it's seven years. Good luck. Oh, God. Damn, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> you jammed up, man. Grab, what do you want from hit me? Hit the hose or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. My head hurts from laughing. <laughs> this is a fucking... This is an all-timer. Oh, this really is... Uh, um. All right, let's see here. This is another uh, gift. This is from Sam. I got a gift question for you. Is it garbage to forget to take off the price tag on my wife's new necklace? The tag says 700 but I paid 139 online. Mm. I like it. I like, I like it, it. Yeah, flex a little bit. Yeah. I would have to sure tell her what at it some point. Been. You know, yeah. I guess it is worth 700 right? Sure. Yeah. If somebody it, did price it, it's not his the fault they're having a sale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I used to, for some reason, I never really understood that because my mom was big tag. If 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 my mom ever gave a gift and it had the tag on, oh, it, I'd be oh, hit. embarrassed. They're yeah. so embarrassed. They would, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I even as a little kid, I'd be like, yeah, flex on these pussies a little bit. Yeah, so but it's also spent. like. Uh, we know you didn't spend fourteen grand. Like you bought a gift for your uncle or something. Yeah. It's 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 a polo it's, it's shirt. Thirty two yeah. bucks. It's it's fifty one dollars. Yeah. It's not like the Marshalls you, tag. Ah, uh, the Marshalls tags, man. What do you? I it does feel not good to buy a gift from Marshalls. You shouldn't because no. it, it doesn't belong. Nothing there belongs there. It all ended up there, and then yeah. if it doesn't, if they don't sell it there, they burn it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Use the heat homes. <laughs> it's, a con- it's a control fire they do. I their homeware is good, but it feels like giving a gift from Marshalls feels like an insult. Sure, of course they need to do a rebranding. I think that's because that's when you take the tags off. Yeah, that's when you I th- take. Yeah, you take the whole thing, not just the price. <laughs> Yeah, because yes. I've gotten them where fucking where it, it just said Marshalls, but they ripped the the price sure. on. Sure. I don't want to at least know what I'm dealing with here. What was it originally at the department <laughs> mark down, store? Mark down, mark down. <laughs> 
It's irregular is what it is. Um, but the thing is, because nobody goes to Marshall's going, I'm going to get Sarah X. Yeah. You see something there for cheap. You go, I'll give this piece of shit to Sarah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no actual like. She's all smoked up. She won't know the difference anyhow. <laughs> She's been smoking tadpoles all weekend. Yeah, that's why I think it's just like, it seems like secondary to me. Yeah. I'm like, I just grabbed this because I saw it and was like, oh, this will check the box. Sure. Yeah. Which I've done a lot. Of by course. The way. Yeah. yeah. Most of my gifts, especially for the kids, it's like, just give them something that you... they can open up and play with for 10 minutes. And then I go, all right, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. But I feel like they sell La Crusette there. At Marshall's? Like at Marshall's in huh. the kitchenware sometimes. No, it'll lids. be a but ramekin sometimes. that you can't use for anything. Sure, but yeah. Oh, like a little tiny one? Yeah. <laughs> but you're like... You, it's, Can't put but a pot roast in there? Set, though. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, I hear... That's aren't there stories about people like finding like really good sneakers at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx every once in a while? Sure, but they're all... They all end up there for some irregular... They they couldn't be... They weren't sold or they couldn't be sold it's in regular stores. like they were... It's like molested goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goods with a criminal record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't get a real job. Uh... Macy's wouldn't touch me. Yeah. <laughs> Got banned. Yeah. If, if you ever buy food, sometimes they sell food products. If you're buying food from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I like a like, good jam there. You can get oh, some jam. That's As, old for sure. <laughs> that's I'll, old. I'll say this too. I've said this before in this broadcast. TJ Maxx, they've they've upgraded a little They're bit. They're a little classier than Marshalls. TJ Maxx but, and Home Goods. Yeah. They have candy, like it's like Festive candy, like something you would like give to somebody. Sure, sure. That shit's fucking banging. Uh huh. You yeah. get some salted caramel truffles That's in something. like a box or something. Yeah, yeah they have like good chocolate covered pretzel tights. Yeah, tights I'll yeah. give you that for sure. But Marshall's just seems it's like a bomb one. It's like oh. knife fights and try to. I went to the one in Astoria, TJ Maxx yesterday. Mm-hmm. Wild. It's crazy. The one on Dittmar's? Nothing. Yes. The okay. N- nothing's where it should be. Mm-hmm. Underwear and the food. Sure. Sebastian has that great, yeah, one of my favorite that. jokes of all time. He goes, how are people shopping in there? <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's wild. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah, my wife tries to go, because there's one in my neighborhood uh, right next to a Gap. So, like, we'll go, I think if we need, like, whatever, you know, just a pair of jeans or something, we'll end up at the Gap. She's like, let's go to Marshall's. And you walk in, it's like. It's mm. always nighttime in there and stuff. Mm. It's bad, man. Yes. I thought the one on Dittmar's was, was actually a nicer one. They're putting a Target across the street. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, I, it's, Is I it get... a full Target or a, one of the mini ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's I one of the, the mini, mini ones. Targets. I hate that. So a, they I just can't put do a Target one. in the city, though. Tar- anything in the city stinks. It Give does. me a nice parking lot, a wide yeah. eye, yeah. a full selection of whatever. Yeah. yeah. Tell you where you got to go. Go down to Vernon Boulevard. Go to that Costco over there. I like the Costco. Woo! Yeah. That place is all right. Maybe I should get my meats there. There you go. That's where you should get your meat. Yeah. At Costco. Yeah. You should get a roast over there. No. Yes. <laughs> There's a, there, you go to the butcher shop down the street. You're going to pay they, through the nose. They don't make any money on their rotisserie chickens. It's just like a, a thing you can get while you're there. Like they don't make any profit from it. Sure. Yeah. yeah Isn't yeah. that wild? <laughs> I didn't know that. TikTok. <laughs> 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 Taking a bath on the, yeah. the road. TikTok and I spread it everywhere. But they're famous for their roto. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a... a I don't know if I've ever had a Costco a, rotisserie chicken. Yeah, me either. either. I do love a good roto. Do you <sighs> like a nice rotisserie chicken? I love a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. Make the a, best. A broth out of it. Re- out of the... Out of Afterwards. The, out of the, Afterwards, out of the yeah. It's already seasoned up for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, I yeah. I thought of that. I keep my vegetable scraps in the freezer. Toss it in with the carcass. Wow. Get some water, salt, and pepper. You're good to go. She's heavy on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Reusing, oh, recycling my food. Yeah, up no, nothing, nothing's up wasted at the, to- at, the <laughs> at, at the list household. No. And he doesn't eat what you make a lot of the times. No. no. Yeah. He's got, he's just. So you're just um, making marinara. it for yourself? Yeah, I just cook for myself, basically. Man, I'm making soup for yourself. It's all week. And That's after, old man shit, dude. After the three <laughs> days, you're just I like... I made myself a goulash. <laughs> That's real sad. You're making, it is. You're making soup for one. <laughs> it lasts gonna, forever. I know. Well, and I'm one so that... bored, and I'm like wanting to kill myself at the end of the week where I'm like, oh. I got to finish this fucking soup. Oh, God. That bird can't die for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Native American? <laughs> have, uh. have you ever composted? 
No, I have thought about it, but I, I've tried to do it in my kitchen and then it ends up being like oh, dirt God. with like eggshells on it. And then I'm like, it's just an ugly heap in the corner. <laughs> You know, so I've, I know you mean yes. Yes, I guess so. I have let go. I'm trying to let go of a lot of that shit of being like, you're. that's not who you are of as a weight. person. Meaning like, you're not a composter. Sure. And you're not composting in New York. Uh-huh. Like, what are you thinking? You're no longer a person that keeps their eggshells. I'm no longer making tub cheese. Okay. Uh, yeah. When was the last time you've done that? Probably like four years ago. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. I'm changing. This is what we talk about on Lady Journey. Okay. Is I the things that, and I don't know, guys probably do this as well, but you get in these kicks and you think your life is going to be better, like being crunchy or something. Like, what's I mean, crunchy? Very like um, composting. Okay. Yeah. Making Hippie sure, shit. buying, thrifting instead of going to H&M and buying fast fashion. Sure. And then you realize it's, a lot of work and who gives a fuck. Yeah. Just burn it to the ground is sure. what I say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full on garbage. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tolamachi with nothing to lose. Round of soup <laughs> for everybody, huh? <laughs> it's just pointless. Gotcha. It's pointless. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wasting. I'm wasting shit now. <laughs> I get I'm it. It's fast tough. fashion. Throw a whole rotisserie chicken yeah. right out the fucking window. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I yeah. tried the fast fashion. That like I did watch a documentary on something like that. You're like, oh wow, yeah, that's really bad. It is the H and M stuff. What? Uh, because that now the H and M. It's called fast fashion. They've designed. It used to be like you would go shopping once a year. Yeah. For like, I have to buy winter stuff. I gotta buy my jeans. I gotta, sure. Yeah, that was, yeah. Now it's like we they had they have you shopping weekly. Yes. Like, oh no, these new things just came out. Sure. This just came. It I got to get like this trend. Line, yeah. Now it's like they're. It's like every two weeks they're introducing trend, stuff. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. recycling. So they have you buying, and then so it's like you buy the shirt, you wear it three times, you throw it out. And then people in Africa are just walking over the shit that they probably made six months prior. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's like a, it's, it's like a global thing. I think it's they're like, like the number one contributors to pollution. I think or one H&M? of the H&M? <laughs> Specifically? <laughs> no, just fast fashion and like your Forever 21s, your Sheehan's. Gotcha. Yeah. Some new top comes out for the summer. Everybody's that getting yeah. Thing, yeah. Like the Hawaiian shirts when they yeah. popped up. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's an, that's on the coast of Africa now or probably somewhere in Chile hmm. on the coast. Bunch Give me of, my goddamn <laughs> shirt back. <laughs> Bunch of high leather boots. <laughs> Those Han Solo things yes. that women were wearing. Uh, that was that was a wild one. Oh, oh my god, that was wild. When those things hit around the fall, look out! Yeah, every pumpkin patch out there, yeah, like the outer rim. I love that when it was observed that everybody looked like Han Solo. Yeah, someone, yeah, hundred yeah, 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 yeah. percent. Yeah, I was like, what an amazing observation that was. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, let's do one more. Then we got a rapper up here. Uh, let's do this one. This is from Kevin. Were you a Wheel of Fortune, a Jeopardy, or a Price Is Right family? Neither. Really? Really? No, we never watched game shows. Hmm. We what did you watch together? We liked sitcoms. Okay, what was the big one? I think we lo- like... Friends? No. Well, I'm talking about maybe like Cheers. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Love Cheers. My family loved Frasier. Okay. Yeah. Love Frasier. Um, and th- that's probably around it. I, 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 I feel like, are your parents smart? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, my mom's really, she's smart. My dad was really smart. Yeah. Uh-huh. That makes the, that makes sense. They also were English, and also I felt like Isn't we- it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Put on Frasier. Yeah. It's like they love stuff from on the BBC. Sure. Yeah, they like Which Brit to me Box. might as well be Al Jazeera. Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking- <laughs> You're uh, reading. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that stunk. There'd be like a new episode of Love Joy on, and he's like an antique dealer slash- uh, criminal investigator. Well, yeah. it was yeah. all right. We used to watch some of those old shows. We used to watch Faulty Towers. Yes. We used to watch Are You Being Served. Loved Are You Being Dude, Served. Dude, fucking yes. fancy. Benny Hill, great yes. comedies, man. But the Frasier, I felt like, was for like smarter parents. Sure. We didn't watch it. Yeah. I found it. I mean, I always would see it years or later. I found it years, years later in reruns. We'd I, watch like, Married with Children good. together. Yeah. We'd watch Cheers together. We'd watch Night Court together, MASH together. Uh, me and my mom used to watch Moonlighting all the time yeah. with Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepard. Sexual tension between Woo! them was... Man, he was fucking thick. cool as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
best. Yeah. Huh. But I feel either you watch Jeopardy or you watch Wheel of Fortune and Price is Right. That's where the line what is. What time did that come on? Like five or six? What? Jeopardy? Yeah. Seven, I think. Jeopardy came on at seven. Wheel of Fortune hit at 7.30. Price is Right was always in the morning. That's 11. Yeah. It was 11 o'clock. That's... It was 11 o'clock back when I was banging. You'd get like two, three of those in the summer. Yes. While you're crushing a bowl of cereal. That I watch them a lot right. in the summer, yeah. The, I, there's certain programming I remember as a kid when you stayed home and you were sick. Oh, yeah. Price is Right is one, and then like a lot of Three's Company, All in the Family. Double Shot of Hogan's Heroes. Yeah. yeah, that shit was awesome. I remember having an observation at that time, Perry, where like all the commercials were like, get into key repair or oh, AC yeah. repairing. And Truck you're like, driving. Mm, is everyone at this time losers? Yeah, because yeah. they they're all home. <laughs> They're all unemployed. <laughs> you get the feel. You're like, this is actually depressing yeah. what this is. Maybe yeah. I am a piece of shit. Yeah. Do I have mesothelioma? <laughs> they replaced that with mesothelioma yeah. things. They yeah. replaced it with reverse mortgages. Okay. Oh, you watch the fucking TV during Sam the day. Sam Waters. Man, Waters they're trying to get you to give that house up too sweet. Yeah. They want that money. That they want you to buy gold. Yes. And just every drug commercial you can possibly think of. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Because yeah. I, when I hung out with my dad during the day when he was sick, we'd watch old westerns. It was, mm-hmm. I forgot what channel it was. And that was all Me like TV. how to get into the bathtub. Sure. St- like, the roller coaster that goes up the <laughs> stairs type thing. Yeah. <laughs> the channel's Me TV, I think, yeah. it, I think it's called. Yeah, they have, all, they have all those shows. Yeah, it's this is like funny when you start recognizing, you're like, oh, this is a demographic. Sure, that's who's yeah. sure. watching that. Yeah, 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 of course. 100%. The, the tub with the door in it. <laughs> you know, kind of so all the water comes up. <laughs> <laughs> You don't got to step over it. You slide right in. <laughs> we got to wrap it up. Gang, the new podcast is called Lady Journey. Yes. Sarah Tolomash, Katie Hannigan. Yes. Congratulations. Do yourselves a favor. Check it out. Yes. Anything else you got coming up you want the folks to know? Any? No, not anything really. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm winding down, quietly quitting. <laughs> right off Get the sunset, of like one of those westerns. <laughs> one of the funniest, one of the best. Sarah yeah. Tolomash, we love you to death. Kippy, Thanks. what do you got for him? And the third show at the Gramercy Theater. Let's fucking sell that. Baby, I'll shout out to the army of garbage. We fucking love you. We love you to death. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.